President Biden is now on his way back from Israel after meeting with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, as well as victims and first responders of the October 7th Hamas terror attacks. News 9's Adam Rasmussen joining us in studio. He has the latest on that visit. Melissa, during the trip, the president pledged full support for Israel and announced $100 million in humanitarian aid for Gaza. The White House says that aid will be distributed through trusted partners, including U.N. agencies. The president acknowledged the suffering of the Palestinian people, saying the vast majority are not Hamas. He's authorized new U.S. funding for humanitarian assistance for both Gaza and the West Bank. That includes clean water, food, medical care, and other essential needs. Israel says they will agree to let that aid in to southern Gaza. If Hamas diverts or steals the assistance, they will have demonstrated once again that they have no concern for the welfare of the Palestinian people. And it will end. The president also says he grieves for the victims at a hospital that was attacked, killing hundreds of people. Palestinian officials claim it was an Israeli airstrike, while the Israelis say it was a misfired rocket from another terrorist group. U.S. officials say based on analysis of overheard imagery and other information, Israel was not responsible. But that trip wasn't as successful as the president hoped. He had been scheduled to meet in Jordan with the Palestinian leader, as well as the king of Jordan and the president of Egypt. But following the hospital explosion, that meeting was canceled. Melissa, back to you.